I have to tell you, just to see the look on these people's faces when they come in here is the reason that I left the for-profit industry to come and work in the non-profit industry. Um, when I met Groundwork and when I met Jonathan Phillips, um, the vision that they had and what they were doing here was something that I, I, I couldn't really see myself not being a part of. So to bring these community members in and give them the ability to learn how to plant their own food learn how to grow their own food, and in the end, harvest and prepare it. It's just an awesome experience all around. Groundwork Elizabeth is a nonprofit which works within the city and the surrounding community to develop programs and projects that educate, improve, and enhance the urban environment. With the help of the USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service, they were able to install a conservation showcase at their Almora micro farm. This has helped them engage residents in conservation education and continue their commitment to address the issues of environmental and food injustice. The New Jersey CIG program is really a different type of program that we offer. While most of our FROMBO programs are cost share based, where we provide a percentage of cost share, uh, the CIG program is really more grant based, where you do get uh, an actual grant from us. Uh, Groundwork Elizabeth is unique in the sense that they were looking at small scale urban practices. Our scenarios that we have right now are more based on larger farms and more traditional farms. So with Groundwork Elizabeth demoing these small scale, uh, more urban appropriate practices, they were able to provide us with cost data and some good technical information on how to implement these practices in a small scale setting and have that cost be more effective uh, for what it needs to be for our small scale and urban producers. So it's been a really good success. The human impact that the work that Groundwork Elizabeth has done is enormous. They constantly have groups out here, um, church groups, school groups, they have the, um, the Mayor's Youth Council out. Every time I come out here in the summer, there's always different you know, teams of teenagers and students you know, getting their hands into the soil, growing food, learning about the outdoors, learning about where their food comes from. And, and that's just you know, so great to see. They've gotten you know, mayor involved, they've gotten county councils involved, and they're really bringing all these municipal players at, to the table that otherwise probably wouldn't see what good you know, conservation is doing for their communities. Nine, eight years ago, I was studying uh, a, city, a city guy, you know, and Jonathan Phillips gave me the opportunity to learn about agriculture. And since I've learned, I love it. You know, um, you could actually say I'm a, a country farm guy now, you know, and the wonderful thing is the donations, seeing the people when we donate vegetables or and flowers to them, and for myself, every now and again, the fruits that I grow taste better than the fruits that I buy in the store. And it's, it's just a wonderful thing for the community. You know, agriculture is something that should be taught all over the world. What it takes to do this kind of work, we wouldn't be able to do without the help from NRCS. So it's been wonderful for the micro farm. It's been fantastic for the community. People come here, they just come on their own and help, help themselves to food if they need it. So it's just opened up a lot of doors here for us to give back. Mm -hmm.